Hello, my name's Spraggy. I'm a professional poker player who a couple of weeks ago caught lightning in a bottle. I outlasted over 5,000 players in the newly formed $11 mystery bounty on PokerStars. They said at the time it was the run of a lifetime. All the cards fell in my favor. It will never be repeated. And yet, just 10 days later, we play again, 5,000 players return, and we're attempting to make lightning strike twice. But can I achieve the unthinkable? Can I make poker history? Can I go back to back? Roll the tape. I will be all in $11 mystery bounty enjoyer. Yes, I will. Nice. What are we doing? Four minute break, folks. What are we doing? I'm just deciding whether to just chill and play these four off stream. Probably. And uh, if anything, happens in these i will let you guys know in the discord channel oh emergency restream i have a couple tables for you told you i'd play them off stream here we are and we're 10 of 104 in the 11 dollar mystery bounty which is uh quite something since there were five thousand five and a half thousand runners again and we are currently 11th in chips uh we have 153 dollars in mystery bounties third of march we won this oh hey aces third of march we won the f uh mystery bounty with about five thousand it was five thousand four hundred and seven runners Tonight, 5,187 runners. For my second $11 mystery bounty win, we are chasing it. We are 20 of 82, and we're raising the aces three ways to a flop. Where we will bet. And a bet will win the part 484,000. I think I gotta bluff my hand. I think I gotta bluff my hand. I got the worst hand I'm going to continue with. I don't think they have much Jack X when they check. I think I have lots and lots and lots of Jack X because I called Jack Deuce all the way through. Ace Jack, to be honest. I got a lot of Osu and suited. I've got infinite Jack X combos, so we'll just bet. Carolina 69er. We've been called by Ace Queen, which is uh, spectacular behavior. My Luck 88 won the $2,700 mystery bounty or whatever it was. 2,541. They actually have 2,791 total in bounties. And I'm going to be all in in the $11 mystery for 25 blinds because it's gone raise, call, call, and I've got nines. And that's a little bit of me all in, my friends. Help us, dealer. Nah, it's going to go fold, call eights, fold. Fold, fold, call sevens, call eights, call sixes. Ace Jack. Big flip. Nine on the turn. We will absolutely love a nine on the turn, won't we? The great Miles TV. Yes, we will, because now we're 17 of 57. 5,187 players started. We are all in versus a button steal. God, I hope we don't get called by the Shadow Swede lurking on the button. Oh, God. King Queen. Oh, hold. Uh oh. We're going back to back. Show me that money, honey. Going back, 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 back to Kelly, 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 Kelly. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, sure. All of it. Wow, big favorite. A big favorite. Do you love to see it? And a mystery bounty. A million chips coming my way. No super big ones left. And that's just a five dollars and twenty-one cents. But the chips are what we're after. We're up over a million. We're up over the million mark. Seven of thirty-eight. Jamming the threes, getting caught by Asus. The perfect hand to see. <sighs> oh my goodness me. Oh my. Um, not gonna be a lot of betting going on here I, 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 with this hand. I don't think just yet. Cut off versus button. We want to do more checking if there's a little bit more asymmetry. That is to say, like, if we're opening under the gun and the player calls on the button, maybe we get some bets where we have, you know, more focus around really strong hands. But when we're cut off versus button, our ranges are a little closer together. So a little bit more checking, I think. And obviously it makes some sense to check this hand that blocks the way that we get value, etc. This is really interesting because I think I'm perceived to have, like, this might just be a lead for me here. Ace is pretty good for me when I check calls, so I probably play leads. I think I'm just going to lead. And lead big so that we can get all the chips in by the river. And now I'm going to put all the chips in. Maybe I should have led a little bigger so that this is a little bit more comfortable. It's going to take 7-8 suited to get me out of here. But yeah, we want it all. Our bounty is not worth much, but we'll take it out of play. Obviously, it is in play because we're going to call off. This is a big pot already. In fact, if he calls, we're going to be chip leader, are we? Uh, yeah. I presume, uh, if we win, that is. 
Unless he's slow rolling me. Two seconds! Folded. 1.4 million though. Fifth in chips. And I love Ray's calling this for eight big blinds. Oh, when we get to. Excuse me. And it's a queen 3-3, three, three, huh? Seven big blinds. Reshoves. Has queens. Shock in. And I fold now. I'm very worried about Vinicius Jr. And the bannies aren't relevant enough. We're playing close to just like ICM. 32 left. Yeah, fold. Ah! Oh. We would have called and been up against the ace jack. But we fold against the queens. Uh, fold against the kings, rather. We would have, uh, if we had played, like, we would have scooped it all, but we don't want to do that, do we? So we will fold. I might just treat myself to a bet here and fold out, like, ace, ten of hearts. A lot of suited ace x flatten on the button, some pairs without a club. So we'll just, like, cheap one undone bluff. They're flatting mostly suited hands. So obviously, a lot of the time they just have spades, hearts, whatever. I'm going all in. Maybe I'm just calling and folding against this guy in the big blind because he's actually going to rejam so seldom in this tournament. That, like, I don't want to just burn another 600k when he wakes up with it. We'll just lose a flip, will we? Yes. Half a million to this guy. What do you mean, fireworks? What do you mean? What do you mean, fireworks? Just, can you not take my chips quietly? Huh? Can you not just enjoy winning your 50-50? The nerve of it, folks. I'm fuming. Maybe we go up against them again. I think actually we just call in position if they raise. Um, if they limp, we'll play raise call. People like to limp jam with hands like ace two, ace three, ace four off here. Obviously we can get them limp calling with a lot of hands that we dominate, seeing a flop. All right, another big pot. A little pair. Another flip against the same player. You win some, you lose some, my friend. Firm handshakes. I, listen, I'm not saying it's because they gave me the fireworks when they want to flip against me. Because that would be silly. But this time we win our 50-50. 1.7 million chips. We are second of 28 left. It's very much game on again in the $11 mystery banner. How does this play out if they raise? We just call. If anyone else raises, we just jam or what? 20 blinds deep. Yeah, because if we were against someone who's open off 20, I think we make it 4.5. When we're against someone who opens off 12, I think we shove. Does Magic a 5 have a hand? Not one that's calling. Any spades? Nine of spades. Not even a sweat. Man, jacks for seven big blinds into queens and then for 12 big blinds into kings. Uh, we will be all in this hand. We will be all in again this hand. We are four of 22. And we're going to play another pot for like 700,000 chips with the ace king suit. A fair fight. An ace in the window. No tears for me, my friend. Good game. GG, we're back over 2 million. And our bounty. Oh, that's the biggest one left. I said I wasn't against it. I said I wasn't against it. Do I look like someone who doesn't enjoy winning 76 US dollars right now? Absolutely not. No, I'll take it. Lou on uh, YouTube says, does Tonka still live with Spraggy? He does not. He lives in uh, Canada, back in Canada. But we loved having him. Love that guy. And people say, you know, he's obnoxious, he's awful. Spilling coffee and on the stairs, you know, making a mess, being a disgrace. But we wouldn't have it any other way. That's what friends do. He had his upsides as well, you know, he's got, he brings a lot of positivity as well. He, uh, for example, um, he, you know, he slept six or seven hours a day and he was dead quiet and eights for us on the button we love our eights we love the button we love having position 47 big blind steep happy to call play the button probably play in position don't really want to three bet get in however many big blinds this is maybe 24 but i think flying's good because especially in this tournament where there's going to be less situations where we three bet button and they shove fours or fives or they shove ace three suited or they shove whatever, right? And I think again, like we can just bet small in position, deny a bunch of equity. If we fold out jack ten of hearts and king whatever, then that's going to be very reasonable for us. We can get some value against a big blind as well. Check back turn. It's a lot easier than... It's a lot easier betting the flop, denying some equity in a spot where they probably don't check raise very often than it is to check back and then play guessing games on turns allow people to realize if we're up against four overcards, you know, that's a lot of equity. So denying some of it's going to be good. Ace of diamonds, not that much fun. 
do have a diamond in our hand. Opponent in the big blind probably has some 5x, 3x, makes some flushes, has some hands like 6, 7, 7, 8, 6, 4. Probably has ace, deuce, ace, 4, but probably can't float like ace, 10 with a player still to act here. So it's not going to make an ace that often. We're more worried about them making flushes, making two pairs, and we're not going to bluff catch versus an overbet in an $11 tournament at this stage. Not for me, mate. Not for me. Probably defend queen three for the minimum. Sneak in for 50k and maybe lead the 745. Or do we want it to be a little bit more connected? Eh. I'll treat myself. Don't forget, we can make a six. We'll have a straight. And that'll be pretty good, won't it? Most of the time. And if they have a hand like king 10 here, tough spot. Ace jack, tough spot. We want to lead because um, we have a lot of cards around this area. Make more two pairs, make more straights than our opponent. Make more top pairs than our opponent. And when we lead, it forces them to defend a certain percentage of their range. And if they want to defend appropriately, it means they have to call all the ace highs, which would normally check back. So in leading on a board where we have a lot of these strong hands, we make them put money in the middle when they have ace high or king high. Does that make sense? Is it time for us to start bluffing? Time for us to start saying that we have some queen x and some jack x. We're going to fold out ace eight, ace nine, ace ten. Maybe ace king by the river. Maybe sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and tens by the river. Our value range is probably like queen ten, king queen on occasion. Then mostly ace jack, king jack, jack ten. I think there's still a lot of ace ten, ace king in this turn check call. We don't really have that many flushes. I think they're mostly betting flush draws on the flop out position. Maybe I just give up and lose to ace ten, ace king. There's still some jack x in here. Maybe they do make some flushes too. I'm going to be a coward. Thank God for cowardice, really. And against two random cards. The three bigs. Queen nine high. Seems pretty good. Slicker than your average. 10-3. This is a really big pot to hold against 10-3. 800,000 chips. Oh, too many outs. 800,000 chips in the middle. We had to beat the 10 high and we do hold. Obviously, we're going to win a mystery bounty. No good bounties left in. Not the saying that $5 isn't a good bounty. Uh, you know, it's, it's not nothing. But we're not interested in a $5 bounty right now. We're interested in the, uh, those 800,000 chips in the middle. 1.4 million for us. 8 of 10. 1 away from a final table. Don't want to see Vinicius Jr. investing here. We want to see fold, fold. Or, you know, defend and we flop reasonably. Or we have a board we can see bet. This is definitely a board we can see bet. A side board. Bet our entire range. Obviously, we've got the best hand a lot of the time. Get a little bit of value from some stuff. Pick up the chips. Life is good. Sure. Yeah. I will have a bet. Where is my 10? Oh my god, I'm going to barrel it all away, aren't I? You gave it all away. Hey. What do we want to do? Free card? Nah. Four hundred and fifty thousand chips, queen high. Give me that. Two point three million. Let's go. <gasps> and the cowboys in the big blind. We're five of ten. King, king in the big blind. War a moment. Twenty big blinds deep. You did not, gentlemen. Please. A moment of silence for the walk with the kings in the big blind. It's frankly sickening. I remember back in my day, we never really, we never even had a PKO, the bounty builder. Remember when those came out? We had regular bounties where the bounty didn't change, so it was like relevant for the first few levels, and then you know nothing. And we got mystery bounties, we've got PKOs, we got 50% PKOs, 75% PKOs. We got the lot. And I think we're just going to defend King Queen. Hey. Where's the cards that look like mine? Huh? And I don't even have one spade. I'm probably just folding to a C bet. <laughs> There's the card that looks like mine. I think when they check back, usually on 8 deuce 4, it's like bet their air. Check back some ace highs and check back some hands like fives and sixes and sevens. Um, I'm probably going to raise because I think they open as low as queen seven suited, queen six suited. So I think I just check raise, call off. If they have ace queen, I'll just weep. I weep. But I think given how wide they open the cutoff, we should be more concerned about getting value rather than uh, getting stacked. And I am all in. I don't get snap called. That's got to be good, right? Ace queen snaps, right? Oh. We should be more concerned about getting value than we should be about getting stacked. And we get the full amount from queen 10. We are second in chips. 
And sure. We are second in chips. We were greedy. We wanted it all. We chat raised. We shoved the river. We are go, go, kind. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. This is your final table. And you know the rules. No pink, no bink. For the final table, your pets are displayed below. A reminder that the pets you see on the screen are exclusive of bounties. That is to say, you're gonna, we're going to win whatever you see at the pay table, plus however much we get for knocking people out along the way. That is a number that currently stands at $250.87. And I will defend Queen Jack. I will. Three of nine on the final table. Normally when they check back, they're waiting for high cards. That's not a high card. I do have some equity. I think I'm going to value bet a lot of my pairs. I have a little bluff. Might have to follow through though. People might get stubborn, call ace I once, especially if they have diamonds. Although I do block ace jack of diamonds. Do you know what's a great play here? All in. If we trust them to fold ace queen of diamonds at the river, all in, right? Like it's very, very tough for them to have a flush. Kind of want to jam it. Two pots all in. Because I think they have like ace queen of diamonds, ace king of diamonds, ace four of diamonds. But not many flushes. I have the queen of hearts. They don't open many other heart combos. If they do, they probably see bet. I have a lot of flushes in the big blind. And I think I can get them to fold an ace on an FT. I do. But you just, you, sometimes you just have to believe, okay? We're all in for two times the size of the pot with queen high. And I hope they fold ace... King of Diamonds, maybe. Maybe that's too optimistic. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think people get a little gun shy here, maybe. A little scared. I'm saying I have a flush, right? I believe me. I think I have a flush, and I can see my cards. <sighs> Laying them down, huh? Making the fold. Max pressure. And here's the thing when you bluff here, right? Like, let's say we bet, I don't know, close to pot even, 700k, 600k, and they have ace, king of diamonds. Like, let's say you get to the river and you bet like 600k, right? If you bluff 600k here and they have ace, x of diamonds, or just a random ace high that calls and makes a pair, it call. I think even if we bet 900k, they click call. But when we say tournament life, this tournament ends right now, if you're wrong, 2 million chips. Almost always, they fault. Because how do they have a flush here, raising in this position? King, queen of hearts, queen, jack of hearts. Okay, that's why my queen of hearts is valuable, right? So maybe like king, 10, king, jack of hearts. King, nine of hearts, they probably bet the flop. Honestly, probably king, 10, king, jack, they probably bet the flop with the hearts. It's like, it's very, very tough for them to have a flush when the river is specifically the ace of hearts. Because the flushes that they have, raising here, is ace, two, ace, four, ace, five, Ace seven, ace, probably bet ace nine. Uh, ace ten, ace jack, ace queen of hearts. So uh, ace king hearts. So when the ace of hearts is on board, all of the flushes that they can have are stripped out of their range. Whereas I defend in the big blind with ten four of hearts, ten five of hearts, ten seven of hearts. You know, jack ten of hearts, queen ten of hearts, king ten of hearts, nine four of hearts, nine five of hearts. So I have loads of flushes, infinite flushes, jack six of hearts, you know? Infinite flushes. And they have very few. So two million chips all in, I think is good. And they fold, and we win. Uh, there was... Uh, whoops. It is the final table. And I'm just going to bet range, 10 high board. And barrel turn. We're already starting to threaten the tournament life again, right? Like, we're already leveraging their stack again. I don't think de deuces are worth much when they call flop. So we'll, we'll just bluff again on the turn, and we're up to 5.5 million. 10-8 suited all in against the aces. There was a sweat on the turn, but aces for the win. Quite happy limp calling here. Although I do think this range for ice wing is a lot tighter than most people would tend to ISO. Because there should be a bunch of like 9-3-0, jack 4-0. Not sure how much that happens. Um, queen high with the back door. We probably call even in ICM. Eh. Yeah, probably. We check all like king high, ace high pairs that we have probably queen 10 high as well this is bottom of our range on the turn so if they barrel will fold and sure 
Can't imagine folding this. Good to see you in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, and one of two players who covers me. Obviously, fourth in chips has 2.4 million. So it's like us three with the big stacks. We will bet a 7.5 though. Probably with a view to... Slowing down at some point. Uh, whether we want that point to be now or not, I'm not sure. Um, Ace-9 probably erring towards being thin unless we assume that they fly Ace-2, Ace-3, Ace-4, Ace-6, Ace-8 suited and call pure on the turn. Um, what might be a good idea is four blinds, check back river. Something like this. I don't see them check raising very often. Like It's very hard for them. Let's say they get here with 8-9. And they turn double gut shot. I don't think they start bluffing this hand. I think they're going to play very, you know, play and flow, check the river, we check back 100%. Whereas if we check, check, turn, they bet river, we call anyway. I think just getting some thin value on the turn and then showing down is good. I honestly feel very bad about our chances of winning though. Obviously, Ace King is particularly strong. I think this flat is actually quite good given the distribution of chips at the table. I think three betting versus chip leader is not ideal for them. They just go for it. All in, they say. And Vinicius with the fold. The Cowboys. Maybe Diaz wants to play now. The three of us? First, second, third in chips? No, just a heads up part. That'll be me having a bet. Like I, say, we, like I was just saying, we only start the hand with 22 blinds. I think bigger is better here on Queen Jack 4. Winner, winner, and look away now. But we're opening King 6 under the gun on the FT. Twin Chip 5, thank you very much. Give it a sub to Choco and Boko. Welcome in. Thank you very much for your support. And you better believe we'll be betting Ace Jack 10 from under the gun versus big blind. Absolutely we will. I think people probably defend too wide here on final tables. Um final tables you want to play a lot tighter from the big blind but I think mostly people still call like 7-5 suited and or even like you know 7-5 off so betting on a board where we've got a lot of very strong hands from under the gun is fine by me uh, and yeah I'll probably just do off my tournament given the chance when I Seven hundred thousand chip bluff on the turn. Another fold. Another five point three million chip stack for me. Picking up some chips and spots where we probably shouldn't be allowed to. Feels good. Ah, eh, this spot not necessary. This is pretty standard, I think. But I will fold this hand. Although against this field. Yeah, folding's good. Folding's good. Folding's good. Just pretend the flop is Jack ten ten. You feel better about it. Player folded off one hundred and forty thousand chips. And I guess it makes some sense, right? Because there was a chance that this player could... There was a chance that this player could uh, bust that hand and they'd take the ladder. And actually going from one blind to two blinds isn't really valuable. But an opportunity at the ladder is valuable. So maybe the fold is good for my Volch. Uh, they are forced all in in the next hand. And we're going to raise Jack 10 in the cuff. And their random two cards are Ace Jack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Any two. Ace Jack gets my Jack 10. I'm so unlucky. I'm the unluckiest player alive. They stay alive. Sure. Maybe jamming's really good in this distribution, actually. I mean, very short, very short, very short. Me and Buen Diablo can't really call off. Maybe they just play a lot of jams pre-flop at this point. They're going to ISO against the big blind with a 6-4 offsuit. And they're really coming out of their shell on this final table. Diaz really applying a lot of pressure now. They have chips behind them. Uh, and they're going to get there with the jack. Uh, sorry, with the 6-4. Being the jack 5 for blind. It's 9 versus Ace Jack. Ace Jack in great shape. Vinicius. Holtz. Aces, queens, and a jack. Kicker takes them to 10 million. They'll win a mystery bounty. Not much of a mystery at this point. Owing to the distribution of the bounties. Five bucks for their troubles. Better than a slap, isn't it? Five dollars. We landed to six. 600 plus our 215 bounties. 850 total. Eyes on the prize. Shaman all in. For three BBs. Isoed by Vinicius, who's on a tear right now, but dominated by King 10. Two straight draws. Flush draw for Vinicius. Too many outs. Four hearts, no good. Just raise call against Shaman. Like, raise, get annoyed and call. Like, if we raise, we have to call off. What a Vinicius open last time at Jack 3 suit, opening very wide. They 2.4 blinds in there. That's interesting. I think this hand, honestly, 
would quite like to go to five blinds and fold. I think like if they, because we've seen them open jack three, we know they're opening very wide. I think all these hands just raise fold and it's the same as like if I shove. I don't think they find enough four bet rips here when I make it five blinds and they just end up with like 10 six and fucking stuff it in my face, right? Maybe not like this hand specifically, but I think they just fold a lot. Um, obviously when we flop this amount of equity, we're quite happy to see bet, I guess, and call off. 13, sure. But I think this is nicer than shove. Five blinds. Maybe even just go... If they went two blinds, I'd go four and a half. If they went 2.4 or 2.5, I'd go five. Whoa! Good luck, folks. Buen Diablo is going to call off for another 500k, one would imagine. Queen 10 versus the sevens. 10 on the flop. They need a nine or a seven. Or it's showers for Bruno. And a... $25 bounty. That is the biggest bounty you can win right now. Congratulations to... Uh, and then there were five. We've guaranteed ourselves 834 plus $250. I'm ready. I've clicked the button. I'm ready. Imagine everybody else actually had it tick the whole time and they were just waiting for me. Would never happen. Maybe that was the case. That was almost uh, exactly as I clicked it. Aye, aye, aye. All right, Vinicius with a raise. I get a fold? Sure. Taking it easy. If Vinicius raises, I'm probably going to jam just because I think they just raise fold. Like, I think they're close to 80% raise here. Maybe 85% raise. So I think we just print when we shove against it. Nice. 5.3 million for us. Minerae's calling against the Shaman. Fuck it. Sure. I got King High. They could fold. They could fold the big blind. Stranger things have happened. What do they have? 6 3. They fold. Says GG. Aye, aye, aye. I don't like that. Good luck. Ace 4. You don't. What do you mean, GG? You got Ace 4, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, GG. Sorry. Sorry. And a $5 bounty for my troubles. King 4 versus Ace 4. We drill it on the turn. We're up to 6.6 .6 million. Four-handed ga uh, poker game we have here. Four-handed game. Vinicius 10 million. Me 6. 4 and 4. Now we got some ladders in play. Now we got some ladders in play. Next ladder is worth $500. Which when you buy in for 11, it's significant. One big blind with my range on Queen, Queen 9. Yes, please. All in. What did this guy jam before? Ace Jack? Alright, well, we, we would have maybe had a decision, but no, no decision. Jack's against sixes. And if Jack's hold, we're three handed. Ladies and gentlemen, we've lost another one. They're dropping like flies. A $5 bounty for their trouble. Better than a slap. Everybody is now guaranteed $1,606 plus their bounties. For me, that's 256 bucks. I will have a limp. I will limp call. I think they're going to ice up pretty wide. I think this hand plays nice to limp call. Queen tends to it plays well enough. I don't think limp jams a good answer. We are now in the red cards business. We buy red cards, we sell red cards, we invest in red cards, we're looking for red cards. I'm happy just to call. I don't think we necessarily want to raise and run it. Queen high. Going to play fine. In theory, they're going to ISO. I think they're going to have like Jack 3-0, 10-3-0, 9-5-0. So the turn can check check a lot. We still beat a load of shit. I know it's, I know it sounds strange, but I don't even think we bluff this hand. But maybe we do. I don't think they fold pairs, man. I really don't think they fold pairs. Blind v blind, and I think we have some showdown value, and they might just be giving up. You know, like nine three zero just gives up. Jack five zero just gives up. Maybe they start bluffing these hands again. Don't know. What's that? What's that, mate? What do you reckon that is? Does this guy value better 7? Does he value better 6? 
think he checks back ace high. We need him to have like jack three, jack five. Has like jack eight, ten three, ten five. Nine three, nine five, nine eight, ten nine, you know? I don't know. Queen three, queen five. I'm very confused. Probably like just hero calling his bad idea. But I am very intrigued. I think he value but I think he bets all of his kings on the turn. Maybe he has that like jacks for value. Maybe he just values a seven, but maybe some turn betting with a seven. Maybe he values a six. I don't know how thin he goes. Can't help myself, can I? It doesn't change the distribution of chips that much. A little bit. Can't help myself. I don't think it's as bad as some of you guys are going to think. Obviously, you guys are going to think it's horrible, but I don't think it's that bad. Could be. Nah. Nah. Should probably just grow up and fold. But like I said, it doesn't change the distribution too much, losing one million here. A little bit. It's a very bad one minute for me. Uh, I think I like Limp Call here. I think I like Limp Call the Jam or Limp... Even Limp Call, like, two blinds. Three blinds, rather. Yeah, good luck. A flip for nine million. To stay in the tournament. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> what? A bridge too far. Ay ay ay, mamma mia. If we win this flip, nine million chips. I can't believe we didn't come at least second. I really can't believe we didn't come at least second. Queen Jack versus Ace King. Stolen from us at the death. We turn our $11 into 1,860, which saves our day and we have a fun and everybody's going to be mad at me for calling Queen High at the river. But listen, if I called Ace High, you wouldn't feel so bad and he never bluffs Ace High. So basically it's the same hand, right? Basically it's the same hand. Whatever, I, I know it's Queen High, you guys hate it. I'm gonna get out of here before you get mad at me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. I'm leaving. Just third place out of 5,187. Alright, I suck. Thanks very much for watching, though. Uh, you can watch all my other YouTube videos. Uh, they're live right now on the YouTube channel. I'll raid somebody here on Twitch. Thanks very much for tuning in.